check this out. What have we before our very eyes? Unbelievable. This is the first time I've ever owned um, a torch or a flashlight, which is over 1,000 lumens. 1,050 lumens. Brother, that's bright. And here it is. Here is the torch. Button on the back there. And to jog through the modes, you've got a button on the front. So, before we get into this really, really sweet and powerful torch, there's the hand size there. It weighs nothing, to be honest, it doesn't weigh, it doesn't weigh nothing at all. Before we get into this, let's see what you actually get if you decide to get this with a bundle version. Well, look at these batteries. You get two, or you can get four if you wanted to, depending if you went for the bigger bundle. But um, for this particular instance, you only need one to go into the torch. That's all it's needed, you don't need two. So you only got one power cell, and you charge it up with said charger. And it's just a 3.7 volt battery, rechargeable lithium ion. And one thing which got me really, really excited about this was when you get the bundle, let's move that there, and now they're gonna roll off course here, is you get this as well. So you can put that into your vehicle and you can charge up. How cool is that? <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's get this rigged up and show you how cool these are. Well, there we have it. There's the charging unit, nice and straightforward. Obviously, you've got to make sure you've got the polarities the right way around. It doesn't matter in the, in the torch, but it doesn't matter when you're going to charge it up. So there we go, we've got a true reading of the power that lies within the cells there. The basic rule of thumb is, if you um, get these and you want the torch to run straight away, it didn't happen for me. Um, what I've done, as soon as I put these in there, I made a note of the voltage, um, which was actually in the cells. And when they turned up, it was 3.6 volts. And I took them out and put them in the torch, all different ways, both of them, and it just didn't work. So I'm like, that's strange. So I thought, okay then, so I charged them up and um, it got to the required 4.2 volts, which is what it should be. Um, took them out, put it in there, it worked first time. So that took about two to three hours. So if you want to get it out of the box and light them up straight away, Bear in mind that it took me um, between two and three hours. Whether they're all of them like that, I don't know. But that's what happened to me. That's the truth of what happened. So, there we are. That's what you're looking at. And obviously when the, um, the indication bar stopped flashing and uh, we're at fully 4.2 volts, we're good to go. Um, we've got enough power to juice up the torch. So, nice little gadget really. And another good thing, as I mentioned earlier, was this. Um, you can rig it up to your vehicle. And all that's going to happen, you're going to get 12 volt supply straight from your battery charger. Straight to the input in there. And mate, that is neat. And to be honest, at this moment in time, with the way these torches are going, for a vehicle carry, you know, something as powerful as this, is 1,050 lumens, that you can continually recharge in your vehicle. You're not having to worry about getting the solar charger out or stuff like this, or you know, when the batteries run out, it's dead. Something like this, you know, wicked. Awesome bit of kit. So yeah, as I said, once they're fully charged up, they're ready to go into the torch. So there we go. That's done its bit now. Before we do, the sheath is pretty amazing actually, to be honest. I'm quite impressed with the quality. Uh, it just feels really tactile and well made, comfortable. There you go, I'm just showing you exactly what I'm seeing. It's just a, it's all around a nice bit of kit. It's got quite a solid little D loop on there to clip onto your gear. You've got um, a belt loop there. I'm not sure what the width for that is, but that's going to fit most belts. Um, great for security guards just on your belt rig. And it's got an elasticated side portion there to make it nice and easy to put in and take out, really. So that's him inside. It's got ballistic nylon, it's pretty cool. And um, for a size comparison, you know, these are my hands. It is, it's pretty much the length of your hand. I've just got basically size nine hands, not too big or too small. So it gives you an idea. Let's have a look at the torch itself. 
Right, here we are. Um, really impressed with the, the quality actually, if I'm honest. Um, personally, I don't really go for things that look good. I'm a firm believer in functionality. Things have to work and work well. You know, We're talking prepping now, we're talking serious. You want to get the best quality kit that you can afford and get your hands on. There's nothing worse than you know stocking up a bag of loads of those of really really cheap items and then find out when bad times come they're just going to let you down. You know what you can afford, go for it because, as I say, there's nothing worse than being let down with a cheap kit. So, this is the battery that we talked about earlier. We're just going to load that in there. Incidentally, you can put this in either way. It's not going to ruin it. You know. It's not going to automatically discharge and all that sort of jazz and bugger it up. So, there we have the battery inside. We've got a big push button on the back, as you can see. Now, one of the things I like about these, because it's flat there, you can stand it up all day long. It's not going to topple over anything. It stands quite well, you know, it's solid. And also, you've got a gap in between there. Can you see? So you can run your thumb in there you're not going to have problems of trying to get your thumb in there. Anyone can do that. Even if you're a lady with long fingernails, you're going to get in there, no problem at all. So, let's see what we go with the old light mode, shall we? So basic rule of thumb, you just turn the back one to turn it on, and the button on the side there to cycle through the modes. So, you've got a nice little dim light there, which is brilliant for sort of low level stuff, if you're in your tent and you don't want to wake anyone up. Just check um, some grid references on a map, for example. It's perfect. And incidentally, if you did want to go tactical, there's nothing wrong with actually painting red nail varnish all over the lens. That way, you're going to protect your night vision and you're not going to be seen for miles away. Perfect. So for a low level idea, that's barn. That's great. And you just go to the next level. It just gradually goes through, as you can see. It's, it's hard to look at, I can't even look at the center. Oh no, that's crazy. I think that's the max, 1,050 lumens right there. So at the moment, the, the lens is just over two feet away from the board. So there we go, that is two feet away and the beam is constant. It's not just bathed in light, that's quite cool. Man, that's just bright. And if you hold it down, you get the Firefly Sorry, the, the strobe, that's 13 hertz. So I'm not sure where that lies if you're apoplectic. So you've got to be careful. Check it out first, yeah, just in case. So there you have it. That's the light in um, indoors. Um, nighttime, obviously, is going to be a massive difference. Um, this is going to be perfect for um, you guys who, who work outdoors, you know, even in, on sea, you know, in the boat. That's brilliant. You can see quite a distance with this. Um, in the woods, personally, I don't think you need to see that far. But if you're out in the fields and things, that is, you can see that from a long way away. Um, right, let's talk about the, um, the size of it then. You, know, you see it with my hand, it's exactly 143 millimeters long and it's um, 25 and a half millimeters wide at its widest point. So that's what gives you an idea of the size of this thing. And it's 82 grams without the batteries. So, I don't know if that's heavy or light, depending on what you need. Personally, I think it doesn't really matter, you know, a torch. Because it's an available piece of kit. So, we're loving that. That's nice. Obviously, it's got the reverse polarity protection, as I said. So, if you put it in, you know, back to front, it's not going to ruin anything. It's just automatically going to cease to work. So, the different modes you can have. The 1,050 lumens, they, they recommend 90 minutes of that. Not continuous because it's not a good idea to have it on that bright for that long a time. It will get very, very hot. It's dangerous. It's common sense. So you can use it in short periods, you know, and an hour and a half, that battery is going to run out on full mode, which is pretty cool considering what you get back from it, to be honest. Then it goes down next to the 800 lumens. And that's um, pretty much an hour and a half as well. That's cool. 280 lumens, stepping down again. That's going to go for five hours. And the smallest one, which is 20 lumens, 
sorry, not the smallest one, it's the next one down again, that will go for 74 hours, that's just incredible. And the very, very small light, which is 0.3 lumens, which is very, very small indeed. That is just insane, to be honest. That's gonna run for 1,585 hours, <laughs> give or take. So that's a hell of a long time. That's a lot of um, juice you're gonna get from that. That's pretty cool. It's um, aircraft grade aluminium, so hence it's nice and lightweight and it's very, very strong as well. So there you go. And it's a premium type three hard anodized anti-abrasive finish. So it's gonna take a long time for it to just wear away like the other flashlights, which is cool. Yeah, all in all, we're really loving this bit of kit. It's really tough and well made. Speaking of tough and well made, the actual, the glass lens in the front is toughened as well. So you're gonna find it very, very hard to break that. And it's got an anti-reflective coating as well. So for tactical situations, that's not too bad, you know? It's gonna reduce it a hell of a lot from the glint coming off of that, which is very important. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, the beam on that, they reckon that you're going to be hitting um, objects and 218 meters away. Damn, brother. That's just under, well, yeah, that's just under a quarter of a kilometer away. That is a serious bit of power. So there it is, you know, it's all there. You get a lovely little pouch for it, the bundle, all the rest of it, as we saw earlier, spot on. Really, really loving that. And to be honest, I've got a feeling I might keep that in a vehicle, to be honest. Um, you know, with the option of getting it charged up with that, that is absolutely seals it for me. You know, the whole thing can just sit in a glove box out of the way. So if you are stranded and you need to see from quite a big distance, you know, you're gonna need something that's quite powerful. You know, obviously smaller flashlights for certain purposes are great. But personally for me, for the vehicle, at the moment, you know, for the size and what you get out of it, it's spot on. So there we have it. Links in the description box below from where you can get these if you really want to check them out even further. Seems fine by me, brilliant. So there it is, there's the flash knight. Brilliant. Accompanied by through knight, it's the TN12, the 2014 version. There it is.